All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson. And we're coming at you today with a fight review. So we're going to Suwon, South Korea for Black Combat 5. We're going to the Atomweight Division. Saori Oshima taking on Ye Rin Hall. Now, I didn't write down their records before starting this, but uh, Oshima has, memory serves me, over double the experience that Hong has. Um, so this looked like it was going to be pretty one-sided. At the start. Plus, I mean, Oshima's already deep jewels champ uh, at atom weight, deep microweight champ, and has fought in Ryzen. I'll be honest, I did not give Hong any chance at the start. I, if you would have asked me my pick ahead of the fight, I'd have said, oh, uh, she gets submitted in the first round. I was a little bit wrong on that one. Anyway, let's get into it. So, first round starts, and uh, Oshima's initial takedown th- attempts didn't go too well. But the third time was a charm, and she started working armbar attempts, um, split by uh, two armbar attempts, split by a knee bar attempt by Hong. Uh, then Oshima went for the second armbar attempt. Uh, but Hong was able to escape, and uh, she stood up, and then she took Oshima down, which caught me by surprise. Now, Oshima stood back up, uh, snatched a guillotine on Hong, and then pulled her down to the ground, basically like using the guillotine to jump guard and pull her to the ground and uh, started to attack, gave up the guillotine to attack the arm again. Um, Hong fought off the arm bar attempts and uh, the referee ended up standing them up. And then there was uh, some striking exchanges before Oshima closed for a clinch on the fence. And that was the end of the first round. Second round, um, after getting sprawled on, uh, Oshima, uh, Went for a throw on Hong near the fence. But to my surprise, Hong reversed the throw and landed in Oshima's guard. Now, there was some uh, ground and pound from up top by Hong. But I guess the referee decided that, you know, she wasn't doing enough to advance. Neither were really going forward. So they stood, he stood them up, which I disagreed with. Uh, Oshima got a, uh, got, excuse me, Oshima got flash knocked down off of a Hong uh, counter punch. And then Hong kind of soccer kicked her. But uh, as, as Oshima was on the ground, she went for a takedown. And this was again reversed by Hong. Landed in Oshima's half guard. And then there were some more some punches and elbows from up top by Hong. But Oshima was able to sweep to mount. And she was on mount and kind of like balancing herself over Hong. And she was just throwing, I swear, these were the weakest punches I've ever seen from Mount. I've never seen punches from Mount that looked so weak as these did. Uh, Anyway, Oshima switched the side mount, uh, landed some light elbows and hammer fists. Uh, She looked for a Kimura and then moved to north-south. Then she had like a weird, like almost like reverse scarf hold on her. Because she was holding on to the head and the opposite arm from the side she was on. Um, so I'm not sure what to call it, actually. And again, she started landing these hammer fists. And I swear, these hammer fists were so weak. Like, if she put some effort into these hammer fists and Hong was trapped, she might have been able to finish. But the referee could see that Hong wasn't in trouble. So he let it go and to the bell. So two rounds down. Third round started, and they both exchanged right hands. Uh, Oshima shot for takedown, and then Hong started to sprawl, so Oshima kind of like fell back and allowed Hong into her guard. Hong followed her into the guard, and that was that was the mistake. That was beginning of the end for Yeren Hong. Uh, Oshima got a sweep to side control, and then immediately grabbed Hong's left arm and pulled it out. And Hong was fighting off the arm bar, but eventually Oshima rolled uh, belly down and Yeren Hong was forced to tap. So your winner, Saori Oshima via submission due to arm bar in the third round, round about 58 seconds, we'll say. Um, This was a fun little fight. I expected it to get done uh, fast and early in the first round, but uh, Yeren Hong... Performed much higher than I, much better than I expected her to. 
uh, far exceeded what little expectations I had of her just because of the how little experience she has. And uh, this it ended up making for a really fun fight. And, and it was nonstop action. Um, now, Oshima, she came out and did what she always does. She relentlessly hunts for submissions. Even if she's on the defense, she's looking for a way to turn it offensive. And that's what makes her one of the most exciting fights in the women's divisions today. Is that the, she is always on the offensive. And like I said, I got to give credit to Yeren Hong. Her resilience and her takedown reversals uh, really impressed me. Uh, I think I was very much surprised to see her, you know, twice get reversals to top positions on uh, Oshima's takedowns. Her team must have studied Oshima well and uh, just, you know, got those reversals, got to. Uh, Got to guard, got to half guard. Uh, obviously kept getting swept. So that's something that needs to be worked on. And I'll mention that in a minute. But her, not only the takedown re, uh, reversals, but also her, her resilience overall. Because when you're in there and you're, you're constantly fighting off submission attempts like that, you know, that's, that's going to wear down on you. But she, she was very resilient. And it wasn't until the armbar attempt in the early third round that she was like really caught and just had no way out. So, Hong impressed me. And Oshima just had a super hard time latching a submission on against her. Uh, let's talk about Black Combat for a second. So, Black Combat, this is, I believe, their fifth event. And I like what they're doing. Oh, man, the uh, the production quality super high. Uh, the the uh, the founder, the owner of the promotion, he's um, a, a YouTuber by profession, so he has good ideas and he knows how to uh, run production on stuff. The production qualities were were really nice. Uh, the fight video itself was a little long, but I liked it. It was uh, a really great, like, you know, hype video beforehand. Then they went to the fight itself. So I really liked what Black Combat is bringing. And it ended up being good matchmaking, too. So I like that. Um, I do think that the referee stood him up too fast. That's maybe that's in order to uh, keep keep the fights moving usually what it is i disagreed with i think every time he stood them up i was like ah let them work let them work but that might not even be on black combat that might have just been that particular referee um, going back to saori oshima so this was her first mma fight outside of japan and she was victorious could there be more to come I think she actually enjoyed traveling and getting outside of Japan, but who knows? It, it's hard to say because, I mean, she's married. She's got two twin daughters, and they're young. They're like five years old, I think, now. Might not. It's going to be hard for her to travel and get outside, but we'll see. Hopefully, she can, though. Uh, for things to work on for Oshima, obviously, her striking still needs work. Needs a lot of work. Also, her ground and pound. Uh, that is the weakest ground and pound I've ever seen. That makes Sarah McMahon's ground and pound look strong. It, it, it just, like I said, I think if she put some real effort and oomph into the ground and pound in the second round, she could have finished it. Uh, for Yeren Hong, she needs to work on her positional control and weight distribution. She was swept way too easily, I think, uh, from top position. And so she needs to really establish position and distribute her weight better, make it harder to sweep. Now for fights to make for uh, Ye Rin Hong, unfortunately, she announced that she has to retire from fighting. She's only 20 years old, and I think this is she's four and three now as a pro. But unfortunately, uh, she has a close family member that is very ill, 
and it's going to keep her from uh, training and being able to fight. So unfortunately, she retired, which is really sad to see. And uh, like uh, Sari Ocean was saying, you know, she, when she found out she was retiring, she was sad. And then when she found out why Hong was retiring, it made her even feel even worse. Like there's actually videos of her crying about it, of Oshima crying about it. Uh, so it's just really unfortunate. Hopefully she'll come back and fight again. For Sari Oshima, um, well, she has two titles. I think the Adam Waite title is the next in the rotation to defend. But I think she also wants to challenge for the Deep Jewels Microweight Championship against Amp the Rocket. Either one of those would be good. Uh, either defend the Adam Waite title in Deep Jewels or challenge for the Deep Jewels Microweight title. Anyway. Those are my thoughts on this fight. Oshima defeats Hong via submission in the third round. Let me know your thoughts on the fight in the comments down below. If you liked the vid, please give it a like. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to WMAC Now, the best, most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.